you acknowledge that the Taliban has not cut ties with Al Qaeda? Uh, the Taliban have agreed not to allow Al Qaeda uh, or any other terrorist group, which was a big success for them to mention Al Qaeda twice in the agreement. Uh, the, the agreement you negotiated back in 2020. Uh, right. Uh, to uh, plot and plan uh, from the territories they controlled, or now that they control Afghanistan, from Afghanistan against the United States and our allies. That was what we wanted from them. That's but, what they said on paper, but yeah, Chairman but, Milley, Milley says they did not live up to that. Uh, well, they, they have lived up, we're convinced that they are not allowing, they are not allowing plotting and planning mm. uh, operations by Al Qaeda against the United States. We always would like to see more uh, from uh, uh, the Taliban, uh, from almost any country that we deal with on this issue, we would like them to uh, to do more. We would like to expel, uh, to, uh, to get them to expel uh, any Al-Qaeda member who is there. Although they do argue that some um, of these people have been there for decades because during the Soviet period it is that they had come to Afghanistan. Some have married Afghans that have children and grandchildren mm -hmm. there. But nevertheless, we should press them to do more uh, on the issue of terrorism. Do they know where the leader of Al-Qaeda is? The UN says he's living in Afghanistan. Well, uh, the report that I have seen uh, uh, indicate he could be in Afghanistan or uh, adjacent territories. Uh, Ayman uh, al-Zawahiri. Uh, Zawahiri. But I don't know whether uh, the, the Taliban know it. Uh, uh, the, the Taliban that I dealt with, uh, uh, they told me they did not know where he was. Do you believe that? Well, I didn't, I, um, we, there is a, as I said before, a lack of trust between us and them. That's why it's very important not to take their word for, uh, uh, in terms of what they say or what they commit to. That's why we are saying there has to be uh, over the horizon monitoring uh, of the uh, commitments on terrorism and the ability to strike uh, if we see plotting and planning going on. Let's talk about the deal you negotiated. Yes. Why did you resign? Oh, uh, I was asked uh, uh, by the former president to uh, negotiate uh, our withdrawal from Afghanistan and get commitments from the Talibs on the terrorism front. Uh, uh, that has been achieved. Uh, we are out. Uh, our longest war uh, is over. Now we're in a new phase uh, dealing with evacuation issues and uh, the humanitarian issues, which uh, I think uh, the United States, the American people are very generous, providing humanitarian assistance. Uh, I thought that the, uh, the, it was the, given the new phase, it was time to move on. And uh, 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 we have also adjusted kind of uh, how we will do Afghanistan moving forward. So it was, uh, it was the time uh, for me to, to move on as well.